Clay Buckles, one of the many pitchers who have been here down in Fort Myers getting in some early work. This is a bullpen session down here uh, before the opening, before the first workout of pitchers and catchers. He has thrown a few of them, and he is ready to go. He's joining us now here uh, as Red Sox life in Fort Myers continues. Uh, what, what did you, we were just talking during the break, 11 bullpens you've already thrown down Yeah, here? right at, you know, I mean, uh, just being hurt last year just wanted, it made me want to be make sure that I was ready whenever I got here and uh, not have any hiccups along the way so yeah just right at 10 or 11 bullpen so far you know last year you went down to the instructional league after the season was over and you made a couple of starts there probably not something you were crazy about doing at the time but was that important just to let you know where your back was at the end of the season absolutely you know after after that loss in Baltimore I don't think anybody wanted to have to deal with anything else so uh, yeah, my first thought was, you know what, I don't really want to do that, and then talk to Theo and, and Ben and Tito, and, you know, it was a decision that was made, and I came down here, and I was absolutely assured, reassured that it was the best thing for me, just, just for the simple fact that I knew that I was okay, and I was able to throw then, so I knew I'd be ready whenever I came into camp. Are you at the point now where you're com convinced that you're completely healed? I'm, I, I feel that way, yeah. I mean, like I said, I've been full bore. My last three bullpens have, have been pretty intense, so it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there hasn't been anything as far as a back issue pop up so far, so I, feel, I do feel good. It's now, you also lost some weight, too, haven't you? I have, yeah. I mean, I think uh, whenever me and Pedroia started working out in, in uh, Arizona this offseason, I was 197, 198, and today I weighed in at 185 or so. So that was that's the weight that I've pitched at my whole career, and, and I feel good. I feel strong. I feel light whenever I'm running and moving around. So um, I'm going to give it a go, and I, I I feel better this way. No pinch running, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to stay away from that. <laughs> I'll, try to, I'll try to stay away from getting hits too, so yeah. I don't have to run the bases. June seventeenth was the last start you made, and, and you know they're, they're waiting for the diagnosis, and it just kind of dragged on and on. You were getting close at the end, and that finish line was coming. You were hoping for maybe a playoff opportunity. So much was going on, and we know uh, some of the stuff going on in the clubhouse now as well. But for you. How strange was that? You know, the team is struggling, and yet you're trying to ramp up and get ready to go. There was a lot happening for you personally in that month. Wasn't yeah, it, it was tough. You know, I, I always said that the 2008 season was my most adverse season that I've had to face. And and last year, even though people say, "Hey, you're still in the big leagues, and you get to sit on the bench and watch all the games," you know, whenever you see your team struggling and needing help and and in a couple of aspects of the game and, and you're not able to provide any help for them. You know, it was definitely the toughest thing that I've ever had to deal with in, in my professional career. So it's another reason why I wanted to make sure I was ready. If there had been a playoff game or playoffs, did you feel you were getting close enough to help this team? Not, I don't think I would have been able to start uh, necessarily in, the, in that first in that division playoff. Uh, but, you know, that's what, I, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to start. I wanted to go out and, and see if I could throw five innings and give the team a chance to win. But, uh, I think in that first playoff, uh, that, well, yeah, what was it? The division, division series. Division series there, yeah. A little drawn blank there. But, uh, yeah, in the division series, I don't think I'd have been able to start, so it might have been a bullpen thing. But in between my outings would have been a time for me to try to ramp up bullpens and, and get some pitch counts under my belt. As you, I mean, you have done so much work. You have some feel for the ball coming out of your hand at this point. Do you feel the way you did two years ago when you were second in the league in the ERA? I, I feel good. I feel better right now when, than I did when I was in spring training then. So hopefully that's uh, that'll that'll say something to the type of season that I, that I want to have this year. You know, you weren't uh, involved in September as far as what was happening on the field, but you came out this off season and, and, and talked about what happened and what you think needs to be done on a personal basis for the coming season. Peter's talked about the accountability that uh, John Lester, Josh Beckett have shown early on. Is that an important part of the process of getting last year behind you to sort of talk about what happened last year and what needs to change before moving on to this year? Absolutely. You know, I mean, everybody on this team is a grown man. Everybody knows what they have to do to to succeed and the little things they need to do for this team to succeed. So uh, with those two guys coming out, you know, those are two horses that everybody looks to to if we need a big win, those are the guys we want on the mound. So it's uh it's good to good to hear those guys come out and, and say what they what they needed to say and get it off their chest and you know worry about 2012 and, and forget about 2011 because ain't nothing we can do about it now. As starting pitchers, so you guys sort of talk things out about wow, what happened in September, what was said and written during the winter and how you move forward? Yeah, you know, we it was when it was happening. I don't think anybody knew what how to how to change it or or even knew what was going on. I think that was the the big hiccup in, in, in that part of the of the season because 
you know, we were the best best team in baseball for four and a half months out of the year, and then to win seven games or however many games we won in September, you know, it was it was sort of a shock to everybody. So uh, we did sit down and talk about it a little bit, but you know, it was after the fact, and there was nothing that we could do about it. So uh, I think that was the the main reason why the guys wanted to come out and, and say, hey, you know, people make mistakes. As long as you learn from them and move forward, then there's uh, you know, that's all you can do. Just, what was it like working out with Pedroia during the winter? <laughs> it was about like you guys being in the clubhouse with him, all, always talking and, and uh, just being that little guy behind you, making you making you push harder. And, and it, it was really good for me because he's, he's that type of guy. He wants to win. He's in it. He plays 160 games a year, you know, and he wants to play the other two games, but the manager won't let him because they think he needs to rest. So he's, uh, he's the most fierce competitor I've ever been around and uh, probably the best second baseman that I've ever got to see play, too. I think Sports Illustrated, what was the cover, the heart and soul of the Red Sox, I think it said. And with everything that was happening in the clubhouse, how much of a leader has he become? You know, still a relatively young player, but how much of a leader is he on this team? I mean, everybody, he, he's he's the voice, and he's just like David, you know. Uh, David speaks up whenever someone needs to speak up, and, and Petey's the same way. So it's, I think everybody sort of leans on those guys like that to, to try to show them a direction to go if, if somebody's misguided or misleaded. So it's, uh, it's, it's a big deal to everybody in the clubhouse. He's, he's, a, he's a big voice for us. How important is it for you to be able to get work with Kelly Shopik this spring? I, I, think it's, I think it's good because, you know, uh, you, you never know what can happen in a season. If, some, if an injury happens and somebody has to go on the 14-day on the DL or 15-day DL, then, you know, it's, that's two weeks gone that, that you're going to have to rely on somebody else. And if you're not comfortable with them, you know, that's... Uh, I could be a big a big jump in in, in a month, so uh, I think it's a big deal for us to for all the pitchers, even the relievers, to, to get comfortable with everybody we got in camp.